All right, here's another Stevie Ray lesson. This is going to be on tightrope. Now, I suggest starting this first riff out like this E major triad here. Two on the D string, one and four on the G string. Now, the reason being is because we're going to try to settle into this B7-9 chord here after a quick second. And that's a D major triad. O to four on the D string to two on the G string. I'll do a little hammer on in there. It kind of makes it quick. And then B7. So that's two, one, two, open two. And later we're going to get into a B7, nine, where we bar those twos on the bottom. Now you could also play this up here if you want to go. Seven, six, nine. And that's seven on the A and then six, nine on the D. Down a whole step to the five, four, seven, and then down to this B7. But if you do it down here, then you're in the same position already. And then A power chord, G note on the big string with a little bend on it. To the open E, to the little E. And then we got a bend up and down and pull off, and then a pull off on the D string there. So that was two up and down on the G string, pulling off to the open, two to open on the D string. So. again and now we're getting into the verse bass bass and then we got that seven nine chord two one two 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 so that's boom boom down up down up down up with some chicks in between And then after about, I believe it's like seven of those when you start singing, you're going to have a, and that's an A flat minor, four, six, six, four, 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 full bar chord on that four. And then you're going to go to this E seven, nine chord. So it's seven, six, seven, seven, seven. And then we come back to the riff. Next verse. Now what's happening there is there's a lot of staccato chords. So that's where you want to be able to stop that chord with this left hand over here just by bringing up the pressure. You don't bring your fingers off the string. But you just, you're not pressing against the neck anymore. And you hold everything tight. It can make that chord go away just with that hand right there. So each time I'm doing one of those chords, it's a quick one. It's a staccato chord. It's not lingering, you know, so that's why it's so tight and kind of syncopated sounding. And then at the end of that, when you get back to that A flat minor to the E7-9, and then this time we're going to do riff, and then the riff again. Once again, that was two, one, four, oh, four, two, or it could be seven, six, nine, five, four, seven. So the B7 or B7, nine chord. Kind of seems like he's doing a B7 before he gets to the verse, and then the verse, it's got a little different ring to it with that down there. It sounds like, that, that's what it sounds like to me. And I'm not exactly sure he's doing that, that certain triad thing on that D, but, you know, it's kind of, listen to it, see what you think, you know. Pretty, pretty close. Then we do it again. So what we're doing is we're going up to the four chord from that B. That's that E seven nine. So you could, if you have, if you feel like you have time, you get that little riff in there right before that new measure starts. So be. Same kind of thing. Down to the two, the B, and back to the seventh fret bass note. Now this time, A, A major there. You could do it up here if you want, the fifth fret. Back to the E7-9, 
And then we hit the B7-9, which is this one, and we stop, and he starts a little solo thing. So he goes, quick hammer to the ninth fret from the seventh on the A string. And that's that seven to nine, back and forth. Seven, nine, seven. And he bends that ninth fret up and down, goes to the seventh. So it's like. Down to two. Back to seven. And then A to the back to this chord. And stop on the two. Something like that. He gets into some interesting things later in the solo. Um, it goes up two frets with it. He also gets into some, of course he gets up into this higher position here. Um, he does a, when you want to hit that really high note, that's the root note of your key. So that's a B way up there. That's the 19th fret. So he gets one of those going. Some of those fast kind of pull-offs. That's kind of a cool blues lick. And if you're doing a thing like a, you might go ahead and use more than, more than just that one string at a time. Stuff like that. So anyway, that's uh, that's Tightrope, Stevie Ray Vaughan. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, please like and subscribe for more, and we'll see you next time.